I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Hello everybody, welcome to Vlogmas number five. Today I thought I would take you along with me on some errands. I have just done my workout and gotten ready and I had quite a bit of a late start today just because I was like doing computer work and all that kind of stuff. But I thought we would go on a little adventure together today. I have a couple things that I still wanna get for the front porch. I'd really love to start decorating the front porch with like some plants maybe, just like zhuzhing it up a bit. We only have Buddy and the snack cart out there. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. I really wanna go on a Trader Joe's run and Drew actually really wanted to come with me but he's still not feeling good today. He's been to the doctor, everything's fine. But yeah, he just needs some downtime. He's not sick, he just has like tonsil problems. Anyway, so we're gonna go on like a little adventure to Trader Joe's today, see what they have for the holidays. I I've like not even been since I think before Halloween was the last time I was there. So we're definitely due for like a little Trader Joe's run, seeing what's new, seeing what's fun for the holidays. And then we'll see what else we get up to. But I thought I would show you my outfit quick before I head out the door. I am stupidly wearing a sweatshirt and jeans and I just looked at the weather and it's gonna be 77 degrees today. And I'm just like, where, where is winter? Where? Where is she? But regardless, here is my outfit of the day. This cardigan is from Old Navy. They have really, really good basics. I've really been liking their cardigans. My undershirt underneath, I think, is also from Old Navy. This little necklace that I have is from Kohl's. This cute little car um, charm necklace. These are my hoops from Amazon that I always wear. My glasses are from iBuyDirect. I have like a little slicked back ponytail today. These are, I'm trying to remember if this video is up yet, I think it is. Yeah, I'm almost positive. And these are the, from my main channel video, these are the sweat pant jeans from Rag and Bone that unfortunately are amazing. They're just incredibly expensive. And then I have on my white Zambas. I actually did have on my burgundy, um, like low top Doc Martens with these. It looked so cute. It matched my nails. It was very red and green, but I, they're so uncomfortable. I literally couldn't even wear them. Even just walking around upstairs with them on, I was like, I knew I needed to take them off. Oh, and then I also have, this is a vintage watch from Guess. I got this on Etsy. It's like a fun little 90s touch to the outfit. And that's my look for today. Will I need to take off this cardigan at some point and just wear the t-shirt? Yes, absolutely, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We also got the rest of these little plates in. You know how I said we ordered this one from Amazon. We wanted to test it out. We love it, so we ordered the rest for the kitchen. So we'll do like a little mini kitchen upgrade today. I'll link these down below, but also out front. Here is what we're looking at. Here's Buddy. He's still, he's still hanging on. We really need to find like, I don't know, maybe we have like different colored twine we could use to tie him up later. But we have this whole empty space right here. So maybe a couple plants would be nice. Here's a snack cart update. We've got some Gatorades missing and maybe some Reese's cups and some other things, definitely chips. So that's great. Makes me so happy. Also, if you couldn't tell, whenever it rains, there's like a dirty outline for the front door mat. So I'm like, should we switch this out for something else maybe? And then put this one inside by our back door. We'll see what, what they have. So anyway, we are gonna hit the road. I've got my cute little burgundy purse. This is also from Kohl's. So I've got my nice little like mature Christmas colors outfit on and we're gonna hit the road, so let's do it. Obviously in the car, I'm listening to the Wicked soundtrack, duh. Now that I'm sobbing, <laughs> I'm still crying listening to Wicked. It's insane. Okay. <laughs> now that I'm literally crying, let's go inside Lowe's. Bye. <laughs> These with the little red bow, that's kind of adorable also. These like smaller ones are kind of cute. I love a poinsettia as well. All right, now 
we're talking. We're in Christmas Wonderland, so we have some poinsettias. There's tons of different sizes. I feel like they're pretty well priced. Like that one of that size is only $10. This huge one, which is probably, I don't know, three feet tall, is only $30. I think that's a pretty decent price for Lowe's. We have this little pot here. This is really cute. We may have to go with this gold one. So festive. Okay, I think we found a winner. Which is all the others. Fun. Um, how cute is all this Grinch stuff? Look at this. I want this. Obviously, I'm not gonna get it because it's overboard and we're gonna probably be in an apartment next year, but like, oh, I want it. We got Frosty. We got a little, I think, Disney moment. We have a Stormtrooper. The Grinch. The Teddy Bear. These are so cute. I want them all. I want Cindy Lou Who. We got a little stitch. This is cute. Oh my God, the Christmas tree. I didn't know Lowe's had it like that. Stop, this is so cute. There's even a Bluey. That's so funny. Oh, they really have everything. There's like a whole Disney collection. There's Christmas Village stuff, but it's not the right scale. I wonder if this would be too big. Yeah, it would. Darn, it's giving me good ideas. See, this feels massive as well, but also there can be tall lampposts. Maybe I'll just get this. It's $4. We'll see if the mayor of Christmasville approves of this. I think this is all they have for outdoor mats. They have this Happy Holidays Disney one. I just, I love Disney, but I don't know if I love it that much. And then this one is still bad. So we'll keep what we have for now. Truly terrifying. All right, got everything we came for except the mat which is fine. So now we're on to Trader Joe's. I don't know what this says about me as a person, if I'm a capitalist monster or whatever, but the excitement that I just got pulling into this Trader Joe's parking lot is simply unmatched. It's similar to how I feel when I pull up to Disneyland. I don't know, I'm just so excited. I'm like, oh, I can get flowers, I can get this, I can get that. I just love it. I love Trader Joe's, what can I say? All right, let's head inside and see what we can find. See some holiday stuff. Look at these little Grinch trees they have. These are so cute. They're calling them grump trees. Don't wanna, you know, get a lawsuit or anything. These are so cute. I feel like Drew would love this. This would be kind of cute for like a counter or something. Okay, haven't even made it inside yet. I wish you could smell it over here. There's all this fresh like wreath garland stuff and it just smells like absolute heaven. I'm gonna refrain though. Okay, starting off, we definitely need flowers. It's my favorite place to get flowers. I'm thinking one of these seasonal bouquets would be really cute. I like this one. I like this one. It has like the little bits of pine in it. Let's go for this one. Look at this little train they made. That's so cute. Oh my God. I love it. Oh no. Oh no. Drew had asked me while I was here if I could look for type of kettle chip it's like a french onion kettle chip but i don't see it here anywhere i've looked through every single bag of chips so i don't think they have it but they have a blue cheese chip which he doesn't like so i don't think he would want that but if you have the french onion kettle chips near you let me know they sound amazing look at all this seasonal stuff we have a little hot cocoa bomb thing a little polar bear Cute. We got a little truffle set. That'd be great for like a gift or a holiday party. We've got peanut brittle, chocolate hazelnut. These are like a Ferrero Rocher, like their own version of that. Candy cane marshmallows. Yum. I can't remember if Trader Joe's has done this already, but this is, I guess, their version of like the Terry's chocolate orange. Fun. I might get one of these for Drew's mom. We have peppermint creams. Dark chocolate, oh my god, these all look so good. Minty cocoa truffles. This stuff is quite literally crack. Unbelievable if you like chocolate. We've also got a little chocolate passport. It has all these different chocolates from these different countries. Really cool, cool gift as well. Oh, and I think this may have like the percentage of dark chocolate. We have chocolate bonbons with dried Oh my god, these look so good. There's this peppermint bark, old fashioned. Sea salt caramels, I feel like I've tried these before. Look how cute this is. A chocolate coin. 
Yes, please. These peppermint pretzel slims. Incredible. And then the Jingle Jangle pretzels. I think we did try these last year. They were just okay. The regular Jingle Jangle is better. And then of course, the classic. So good. I switched to my phone because it's less awkward having a big camera out and a Trader Joe's employee was next to me. <laughs> I just got like so nervous and I was like, sorry, I'm filming a video for my mom. <laughs> she was like, okay. <gasps> cute. So cute. Hope it's not broken. Okay, I will say these peppermint jojos are insane they're so so good there's candy cane ones and then there's chocolate dipped ones oh my god we got some festive chaos gummy candy stirring spoons for hot chockies candy cane covered almonds wow i didn't know that trader joe's had advent calendars that's kind of cool 12 days of beauty that's fun i think we had gotten their pet advent calendars in the past and they were pretty good. I wanted to see if there was any kind of like seasonal hand wash. There isn't, but it does look nice. Also, this candle is $3.99. It is like one of the best Christmas tree smelling candles ever. We have one at home. So good. Look how cute these are. Little gingerbread people. I think they're iced too. Yum. Boozy little chocolate truffles. Ugh, our advent calendar is chocolate truffles or else I would get some. That looks so good. This display is what I'm talking about. Celebrate the season indeed. These are so cute. Oh my God, I want them all. I want it all. Look at these stunning candy canes. And they also have a mini version of jingly jangly. I think it's like all the same stuff or similar stuff. So I'm gonna try that. I haven't tried it before. And I don't need a big tin of it. We got a little Swedish Fish Christmas edition. I love the texture of these. So good. I mean, sorry, Grump Tree. So cute! I know. It's all very cute. I know, isn't that cute? Okay, we're home from Trader Joe's. You pretty much saw everything that I got, but I did get a, um, it's called a seasonal bouquet. What? Oh, are you watching? Seasonal bouquet. So, you know, I don't know where we're gonna put that, but whatever. We have the Grump Tree. She even said, do you want your Grump Tree in a bag? Cute. It's so cute. Adorable. I love it. We got a fancy gingerbread house. Have we had this before? No, I don't remember the animal. We've seen it for sure, but I don't remember if we've actually made it. So maybe we'll make that like, I don't know, sometime soon, tonight, whatever. Then for the actual groceries, kind of boring, but I did find a little baby bag. <laughs> and it is a grocery like a normal, I guess does it say Trader Joe's on it? Oh yeah, it does. Cute. Cute. And then it comes in a little, I'm sorry, like I can't say no to that. Um, I got you some Walker's cookies to try. They have shortbread cookies. So they have yeah. milk, chocolate, and salted caramel shortbread flavor. So I got these. Then I just got some mixed greens, or what is this, baby lettuce for like side salads, kind of boring. They have an English fudge collection. So we have clotted cream fudge, he said, chocolate fudge, and holiday spice fudge. Mm. I know. Then I found these Ribitos Royale, chocolate bonbons with dried fig and brandy flavor. I thought those sounded those very fancy. right up your alley, yes, definitely. 
they have jingly jangly, which is a miniature version of like jingle jangle, except this one has like bark and stuff in it. Jingle I showed jangle. that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be called jingle jangle. Why does it be jingly jangly? Um, I got a chocolate orange for your mom. They have orange. a Trader Joe's, or you, <laughs> a Trader Joe's flavor, but this is dark chocolate. Oh. And so she likes dark chocolate. I got you some Cine Dragons. Mm. And I like those. I got myself some Hold the Cone. Peppermint flavor! <laughs> Holiday! He said toothpaste. I love toothpaste. What can I say? Got myself some more frozen cherries. I put them in my smoothie every day. I got you some miso paste in mm. case you want to make miso soup. Do we have dashi? Mm. Okay. Got some more frozen garlic. We were out of that. And some chimkin breast. And that is my Trader Joe's haul. Really not that much stuff, but that's okay. I was I was trying to just keep it practical. And honestly, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holiday things. So really, I did kind of get a lot. <laughs> you need a load? Yeah. Oh. That stuff's in the car. I also found tiny little lamp posts, and I know they're probably too big, but like I feel like with the height of the trees, it might work. Do you think these are cute? He's going. Yeah, they're cute. They're only three dollars, but I thought Lowe's. They had a whole Christmas village. Girl, they had Disney. Did they, they had. Have no, I tried to look, but they have wreaths on them, and they're little like. They're little like Narnia lamp posts. He goes, let me see. I hope you guys know that he's joking. I mean, he's not joking, but I'm like, joking. he's not joking, but he's saying it in a playful way. I think sometimes people think he's actually mean and he's not, he's the biggest softie alive. He's inspecting. There's lamp posts. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what do you think? I mean, I definitely, not the right scale, but <laughs> I, but also, I may allow it. Neither is the town Christmas tree. That's like Rockefeller Center right that's there. It's supposed to be. Oh, come on. Sorry. <laughs> I think that's cute. It's buried in the snow. Kind of makes the like size of it better too when. Yeah, if it's. It's like buried down there. I don't know. Kind of cute. Right next to the bunkhouse. I wish it turned on. But... I know. So cute. Can you give me my glasses? Cute. I know, it's so cute. Where do you want to put it? Mm -hmm. Somewhere. All right, while I'm waiting for my leftover lunch to heat up, I thought I would try a little advent with you. So today that I'm filming this, I know it's kind of confusing because the day I'm posting this, I'm like a little bit ahead. So today is what, the sixth? So we're gonna open up the sixth and like, I don't know, maybe we'll, I think we're just gonna open them in real time. Yesterday we did number five and it was milk chocolate truffles. Good, but, oh, <laughs> but I'm more of a dark chocolate girl. Okay, number six. Here we go. Raspberry truffle. Raspberry? He said. <laughs> raspberry? Raspberry. Can we share one? You can have this other one, but I, I don't want a whole one. Ooh. Look at her. There were a lot of like different truffle and I was like, since we have this, I, you know, at Trader Joe's, I was trying to like hold off. Okay. Is it like, I hope it's a jelly. It's not, but it's good. Really, really good. My favorite one so far. Mm, good. Delicious. All right, I ate lunch. Now I'm gonna get the stuff out of the car and decorate Hang the front porch. The get off my lawn. How cute it's looking out here now. Definitely need to fix this though because it is driving me insane. We've done it. We're gonna cut the remainder, but it looks so much better because it's not like hanging all the way up there. I'm feeling that. I wish Buddy's um, wrinkles would smooth out, but that's okay. <laughs> Later now, I just for the record hate 
the lighting in this kitchen. In person, it doesn't really look that yellow, but I feel like on camera, it comes across super yellow, but maybe actually right now it doesn't. I don't know if it's confusing. Drew's making us dinner. We're having our same usual chicken veggies, mashed potatoes dinner. And um, I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to work around him while he's cooking, but I want to do those little light switch plates like I mentioned earlier, because I've they've been sitting in our closet for, I don't know, a week or so, and they need to get installed. But first, I wanted to make us like a fancy little mocktail because um, I saw them all over Pinterest and they're really freaking cute. So I wanted to try it. So I have these cute little ornament glass, well not glass, but like, Ornament um, cups or whatever. You put stuff in there and then you pour it in the drink. We also found this Dazzle Dust edible glitter that we got last year. So we're gonna use some of that and then maybe we'll just pour them in like, um, no, let me get like a coupe glasses or something. Okay, we have two very special champagne flutes. These were a gift to Drew's parents when they got married and we have them now, which is very exciting. So, okay, I think what you do you put all your liquid in this thing. That, I mean, it's just for fun, right? But you put all your liquid in like the little ornament and then you put everything else in the glass. So I will um, show you the little ingredients that I got. I got some cranberries to put in there, some rosemary. We were gonna do pomegranate seeds, but it's like seven dollars or something for the pack of them and i was like no and then for our mocktail of choice we are going to use this sparkling cranberry juice i mean why not dazzle dust. with some dazzle dust of course in an ideal world you're supposed to do this as a cocktail but i don't want one right now <laughs> i really don't weirdly when i'm at home i don't like drinking cocktails like or just drinking at all like i just want to be like chill at my own house but when i'm out and about I'm drinking. I do apologize for the sound of our ice machine. It is quite literally possessed by the devil at the moment. So <laughs> that's really fun and exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of dazzle dust in these. Yeah, these little guys. That is so fun. Oh, and the air conditioning's kicking on. Perfect. Every sound actually, please, within a hundred yeah. mile radius, can you please turn, turn on? Turn on the air fryer. Oh, great. All right, so we got our little glitter in there perfect now in our glasses oh my god there's edible dust. glitter flying i can see it everywhere it's kind of like we're living in like a it's dream like, it's like doom next we're gonna put a little sprig of rosemary because why not it's festive it's cute and then of course gotta add a few cranberries in there just to your heart's content i suppose do i eat these no not really but i do want to try the Candied cranberries, but then they bake them. Yeah, they need to hydrate them. I don't know. They're not tired. Right? I might have to try that. They're already looking so cute. Okay, then for the fun, exciting part, you take your beverage and you put it in your ornament. I don't have a funnel, so I'm gonna do this on a wing and a prayer or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Doing it. It's definitely working. Do you see that? Sure. It's like a snow globe. I'm so happy. Okay. Then the other half of this one. Obviously, this is supposed to be in like a cocktail glass. First of all, how cute is that? I'm obsessed. That's adorable. Okay, then I think the thing is you're supposed to put it upside down. I don't I feel it I fear this is too much liquid for that, but we'll just see. It's the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Is this too much liquid? Yes, it is. <gasps> okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll use this between both. How about that? Gorgeous. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. I might need to bring it closer, but you can definitely see the sparkles and the bubbles. It's gorgeous. Were the ornaments necessary? No, of course not. Were they fun? Sure. All of these sounds right now, if you have ADHD and you're overstimulated by like, oh my God, like literally my, I'm twitching. All right, here I go. Taste test. Ooh, tart, sparkly, delicious. 
Very festive, might I add. Very tasty. All right, just kidding, our food is almost ready. It was actually, I was taking my sweet time. But anyway, okay, I'm going to pull out, uh, where can I put you? I'm not gonna let you see the state. that is this closet down here because it is so, just like, it's the catch-all for all of our stuff that we don't know what to do with at the moment. Okay, this is the box of all the little outlet covers. So, since we have to eat now, I will do this after dinner. All right, we're done with dinner. Now let's unbox all of these. Oh, this is actually another thing I saw on TikTok, which is these little candles that you plug into your outlet and they like, or well, you know, they look like candles. They're called Luminara. So I got two of those. They come in a set of two. Okay, this is one of the single rocker. Which I think is, yeah, there's a um, disposal switch. I was like, what am I talking about? We have a double outlet and a single rocker, which is the one right next to it. Actually, I'm gonna set these, there they go. Um, what are these? These are the single, just like normal outlet ones, mm -hmm. I think. So I think we have three of these. Oh, one. you know why it's rattling? It's this piece. Uh, so when you put this on. That's so much better. That is so much better for my soul, you have no idea. <laughs> These are gonna be so fun. All right, so now we just stick them on there. So let's do it. Does that oh. work, fine? No. <laughs> it doesn't because the screw it is supposed to go in the middle. Brick! Oh, it would have been so cute. Okay, hold on. In true me fashion, what I didn't think about which they only offer, oh my God. You know, when I was ordering it, it was like, do you need one rocker, two rockers, three rockers, an outlet and rocker combo, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't think about the fact that a lot of our outlets are grounded. And so you can't put a screw in the middle of that. And I didn't even think about it, but luckily I got these on Amazon. So there'll be like a really good return policy. So I guess we can just plug these in, which are still very cute. Let's plug this in and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ooh, it really does feel like a little candlelight happening. So that's exciting. Maybe I'll put the other one like over here. Yay! Oh my God, I love it. Should I put this one on the bottom too? Maybe. It really does look like a flame. I'm obsessed. I mean, I kind of think it's really cute how they wiggle like that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little Trader Joe's taste test first. I'm gonna try one of these chocolate bonbons with dried fig and brandy. These look really good. Oh, oh fancy. Ooh, fancy. You wanna just share one? Oh. Here's what it looks like. This lighting is not that good. Okay, cute. It does not look really good on the box. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look the same, but you can definitely tell there's like fruit in there. Smell it. Yeah. All right. There's brandy too. Okay. There really is like a whole dried fig in here. <laughs> mm. Good. Delicious. You taste the brandy. A little bit, yeah. Am I gonna get white girl drunk? I'm eating half of it. <laughs> no. It is delicious. It's like very rich, decadent. Mm-hmm. Mm, the whole thing. It's a whole fig, yeah. Dipped in chocolate. It must be, the fig must be like soaked in brandy or something. All right, let's try some jingly jangly. What do we have in here? Pieces of dark chocolate pretzel and Jojo's cookie bark. Mint mini, mini milk chocolate, sorry. Peanut butter cups. Milk chocolate candies and dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. There is no bark in here, I don't think. Oh, is that a piece of bark? Let's try it. Stunning. Here's the popcorn. Mmm. Cucumber cup and chocolate. Mm hmm. 20 out of 10. Fudge. Drew's gonna try his fudge and then are you gonna try the cookies or no? Just the fudge. For my next performance. I will be trying 
Hold the cones, peppermint flavor, because Christmas. Ooh, it has a chocolate cone. So exciting. I like all the flavors I've tried so far. I don't think I've tried the pumpkin one, but they've all been really, really good. Ooh, look at those. Here I go. That is a perfect looking little cone right there. They smell the same. Mm hmm No, this is a Friday night. This is cold. I'm talking about. Looks cold cream. So they were not in order. <laughs> Whoa. If you're a mint chip girly, go for this one. It is more peppermint than like mint chocolate chip. It's so refreshing. 20 out of 10. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Do you know what's really gonna hit? When I turn off this light, look. <gasps> wow. Those are great night lights. And then with like the lights in the backyard, kind of dreamy. We can even see the Christmas tree. Do like this, her, him or hers. Okay. This or that. Okay. So Drew and I have just been scrolling through TikTok. We've been sitting, on, it's literally nine o'clock now. Like the day has just gotten from us, but we sit on the couch and we share TikToks with each other most of the time. And sometimes we'll just like scroll TikTok together. I don't know if that's weird, but we'll both just sit. We've done this since it's like 2020. Pan, it's a pandemic thing. Yeah, we <laughs> used to screencast one of our phones to the TV and then just watch TikToks. And then when we moved back here, we used to go to my mom's and do the same thing. So my mom would be like, are, we gonna, are you guys going to come over and we watch TikToks tonight? And we would just play TikToks. But anyway, um... We stumbled across this page called Quiz Love Daily. I'm pretty sure it's like AI. 100%. And we've been taking all of these quizzes and they're really funny. So some of them are really stupid, but it's actually kind of fun. Should we do couples challenge who is more likely to yeah. again? That was the first one and yeah, exactly. we, you were... I was all of them. Yeah. Couple quiz, who is more likely to is more likely to forget someone's name right after meeting them? Probably you. Yeah, definitely me. Who is more likely to spend way too much time on TikTok? Me. Me. Who is more likely to laugh at a joke they don't understand? <laughs> You're like, do you know what that means? No. Who is more likely to send a text to the wrong person? I don't text all You people. probably. Yeah. Who is more likely to like an old photo while stalking someone? Ooh. I've done it. Who is more likely to lock themselves out of the house? <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> Who is more likely to forget their own birthday? Probably me. Probably. I don't. I wouldn't forget, but I'd be more likely than. Who is more likely to buy something they don't need because it was on sale? You. Yeah. Save this video for your next date night. Anyways, you guys should try it sometime. Um. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this vlog today. We're just really cozy in our Christmas blankies by the fire. I don't have a Christmas blankie. I She's stole. lying to you all. I kind of stole it. You're right. <laughs> um, fun fact: in the next, oh my god, I'm yawning. In the next vlog, this setup is We're gonna look. We're getting a dog. <laughs> oh my god, I wish. This setup is gonna look a little different though, because we're getting our couch being delivered two days from when I'm filming this. So in the next vlog, Miss, you'll see that. And I'm so excited. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. And I will see you very soon for vlogmas number six. Bye. Go to bed.